Hello everyone and welcome back to the third part tutorial of the bathroom uh, modeling tutorial. This time what we will do we will create uh, some kind of a safety uh, handle or I don't know. So um, at first I was trying to do uh, something but I'm just getting into this problem where I have a little bit more work than I thought that I would need to do and therefore I will try to spare you this thing that I'm um, you know having right now like some kind of a difficulties here so let's start by first uh, going over um, and set few more edge loops in order to make sure that we have everything as we should have so right now as you know we created this edge here right in order to support this edge here so I'm gonna right click choose edge double click on this edge shift right click delete okay so you, we double clicked on it and we delete it all over the entire um, bath. Okay. Now we're gonna add two new, two new more edge loops. So I'm gonna press F8, shift right click, insert edge loop. I'm gonna add one edge loop here, that way, and one more edge loop later on here. But we will talk about this. Anyway, right click, choose face. We're gonna grab this face and this face. And after we set this, we're going to extrude them that way. And, well, we can squeeze them a little bit that way. And maybe pull them a little bit more. Okay, after we've done that, we're going to press F8. We're going to add, um, we're going to grab... Well, let's try and grab these two faces and these two faces and extrude them. Click on this middle mouse and uh, middle area here, cube and extrude it. And I don't like how it's turned to be, so I'm going to undo that. Okay, I'm going to first um, add two more edge loops. Okay, before I'm going to do that thing, offset edge loop, I'm going to add two more edge loops here. Now, this is just to make sure that whenever I'm going to press 3, this area here will maintain as it is. Okay, so we can press 3 and you can see what it turns to be. And now, I'm going to right click, choose, well, let's do this that way. Shift right click, insert edge loop. I'm going to add one edge loop here. Okay, very far from these and also here I need to have some thickness to this handle so something like that it's fine now you can add either from this side one more or I don't know from here or whatever just choose to add two more edges like that and also let's choose to add two more edges or four more edges let's see offset edge loop I'm going to add two more edges to make sure that I'm going to add them here. You see I have a little bit more thickness to the handle here and here. So I'm going to add two more next to those. And that's fine. Right click, choose a face. Let's grab this face in the middle. Let's grab this face in the middle. This and that. And simply delete them. Press delete. You can delete faces with simply delete edges only with shift right click. So now I'm gonna oh well I need to focus my camera a little bit and grab this edge, double click on it. Okay, this is the you know this edge here. And you wanna extrude it and switch to move tool and lift them up so it will pick out from the upper side of the handle. When you've done with this, you're going to go over Mesh Tools menu, Merge Vertex tool, and simply connect those vertices to the upper part of this handle. Simple as that. Okay, that way. Well, here I will have to come over here because there are two over there, and very, very high possibility that. 
connect the wrong ones okay and we don't want this so we're going to check ourselves okay okay I'm going to press F8 and 3 and I'm going to bring this over that way and here you go you have a nice uh, looking handle now I'm not satisfied with what's going on here so in order to fix this what I will do I will simply add edge loops whenever wherever I, w I choose to um, you know fix the area so I'm going to add one edge loop here and I will do the same over the other side you can use the offset edge loop tool but whenever you use the offset edge loop tool it's a little bit hard to really bring it closer so you see now I added those and it looks that way which is okay but I will try to do a little bit more edges here shift right click insert edge loop I'm gonna add edge loop here and I'm gonna add one more edge loop here okay press 3 or F8 first and then 3 and now it looks much more nice see so this is it for this part um, I do want to continue one more thing though before we will finish this but remember whenever we snap this part to the floor basically to the same height of the bath depth um, it was a mistake because later on whenever we will put this on the floor uh, what will happen is that inner part of our bath will intersect with the floor and we don't want this basically this is also how in real life it is so I'm gonna bring them a little bit down and maybe squeeze them back so we will still rem have the same curve but right now at least this one is a little bit lower than whatever goes inside the bath so let's press F8 file save scene as I will show call this bath or because I have Beth 3 already experimenting some things sorry so <laughs> save as and have a good day thank you for watching we'll see you at the next part bye bye